Hello, hello, and welcome. Silra is here with day 19 of the Nostalgia Ladder, and we are starting against a warlock here. I uh, don't really want to keep King Makla against a warlock. Hmm, Young Dragonhawk could maybe do. But let's drop it too as well. Let's see what we draw instead. Okay, at least we get a couple plays with the Jungle Panther and Animal Companion. That is kind of nice and nifty. Oh, zombie Chow. Okay, so we are starting with this kind of plays then, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll coin out one of the three plays, which is essentially probably the Animal Companion. Well, it is one of these, huh? Another zoo deck, so to say. And quite well, fine with that. I will put up some creatures and get going with stuff. Oh, didn't have a soul fire for it. No, no has it. No has the soul fire. Right. Right, right, right. Oh, that would be a turn for play. Let's see. Let's play another one of these. Oh, a second Misha. That's actually pretty good. I'm okay with that. Hmm. I will Wolf okay, that allows him to kill the Misha as well. It's kind of nifty. Oh, another soul fire. Oh my god. So he had both soul fires. Really? That is so very nice for you, huh? Uh, 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 uh. I could kill command this for uh, health gain. But then it buffs this thing up. I'll probably have to kill command this. If I want to have any chance of winning here. Uh, Jungle Panther will not do all that well. <sighs> Unleash the hounds, please. That's essentially the only way I'm going to win uh, these matchups. Is whether I have Unleash or I don't. I know, or not. Yeah, I don't like that. Both soul fires for two Mishas. That is so insane. That is so insane. Yep. No unleash. Well played. No well unleash. No. And no well played either. Rexa versus. Oh man, that warlock has both soul fires in hand. Oh, no, I have an unleash. Begin. I think I might have to keep Makla in hand. Houndmaster is a question mark, but Houndmaster is a follow-up play to Makla. Uh, I'll keep the unleash as well, just in case this is another aggro deck, which is very likely because aggro decks are pretty much the play played thing these days. Especially on these rankings, most people bring an aggro because it's e well, it's easier to build and it's well easier to play as well than the than doing all sorts of other things. Oh my gosh, blessing of might on it already. Pah. Like seriously, do I prime a sneak trap this turn just to fucking go for it? And that also means that I cannot play Makla, which is fucking annoying, huh? Because just a single banana allows him to kill Makla. Oh my god. I wonder. Right. I have no answer to this thing. Whatsoever here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I can only hold he plays a second creature, yes, thank you. Now I can kill the damn thing with an unleash. That's essentially my only hope. To do it this way around. Hmm. Hey, Wolf Rider. <sighs> So much aggro. 
And I don't have... okay. Let's put out some creatures then. Put out some creatures then. We can kill Makla easily with the Wolf Rider or whatnot, but that's that's fine. If he leaves my Dragon Hawk alive, I can just home master it. And if Makla survives, I can home master Makla. Either is okay. But there is the bananas. It probably means that I'm gonna lose Makla here. Yeah. That's fine. Not oh fire. my god, another one of those. Oh. Oh. Screw you and your fucking luck on this. And my uh, complete another lack of uh, of draw ability here. Okay, noble sacrifice even. Because, oh my word. Me. Did that second unleash. Storing buzzard does absolutely nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. Trigger that thing. Get down! Unfortunately, the problem is I have to trigger it. <laughs> but that all not just allows killing the guy with the freaking wolf rider straight up, or even with the hammer of wrath and the uh, freaking bluegill warrior. Oh, well, a blessing of second blessing of might. That would do it too. Oh my god! Like really? Ugh. Reporting for duty. That does it as well. Uh, divine favor. Yeah. Cool. You had all the freaking draws. Had all the damn draws. Uh, poo. I really don't have a lot of choice here. I have to do it this way around. This guy kills that. This guy kills that guy. Uh, pa -pa. Then we hero power it up here. <sighs> My gosh. Ah, uh, no. Alright. Let's see if this guy well plays me. Finally, someone who is not a complete freaking douchebag, which is awesome. Okay, third game against the mage. Let's see, are we playing against? Where was my best solve wrath in this previous game? Anyway, um, I can play absolutely none of this. So yeah, jungle panther. Okay, that will do. Um, let's see if this is an aggro mage, which is very likely. In most cases, that is the case of things to happen. I could maybe have played it a little different last game with the snake, tra uh, like trying to trigger the snake trap, but it really wouldn't have made too much difference in the long run. It's like instead of uh, the what the hell with, with the which turn was it where I. I did a choice to play the uh, snake trap instead of a hero power, and I chose to play the um, snake trap. This is gonna be really annoying because he can just trade these two and a fire blast to get rid of it. But it's at least going to. Okay! So it's a fucking Murloc deck. Right. Well, we're just gonna. Home master it out here. Start beating it up. It's at least the 6-4 is some sort of a threat. But then there is a polymorph, obviously. No, a frost bolt and a fire blast. Alright. At least it ate a frost bolt and a fire blast. That's kinda nice and nifty. I guess next turn we are. Uh 
animal companion. Let's see what we draw here. A hopper. Hopper is quite fine. Just uh, we can trade away some creatures here if we so desire. Hmm. Do you wanna? Yeah. Let's make it uh, uh, interesting for the opponent. Uh, I can't play scavenging hyena here. I'll just do a hero bar then. I mean, I could have tried to raise her there with pure damage, but let's see if we can uh, get some board control. And uh, oh my god, like really? Had the goddamn cone of gold. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh well. I guess it is a time to draw some cards and make a uh, hyena here. Let's chill the wrath. Second young dragon hawk. There is the goddamn timber wolf which I needed. Let's see how you wanna play this out. Yeah, that's good. Now if there is no second cone of cold, I'm gonna be really happy. Cause I can clear all of that. Arcane Golem, alright. Wow, I really went for it. Hey, it's time to clear Arcane Golem. Let's see what we draw. Misha, then we kill our board. Play Maka. Hmm. Right, right. Yeah, I do realize that I probably should have played Unleash earlier and whatnot. Oh, cool. Makla is a fireball, that is perfect. And then this guy is a frostball, which is kinda okay. And uh, coin fire blasted, I guess. Yep. Coin fire blasted. No, coin fire blasted the other one. Alright. See, what do we get here? What do we draw here? Because I don't think there is going to be enough creatures anymore on the board to really uh, do much with the Unleash. So I probably should have played Unleash earlier. But I guess that's okay. That is okay. So let's see. We're gonna... Alright. Just Fire Blast this. Then he's going to trade that into... No, he didn't trade. It means we kill it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It means we kill it. That's both arcane golems down. So that is at least good. Means we have a chance to a chance at this game here. I could have played Unleash as well to uh, have a one doggy to throw in. Oh my god, what an elemental guy. That pretty much takes away the chance at this particular game here. Unless I happen to finally draw one of my big minions. Okay, seven of high main. That helps. But uh, it's not a guaranteed win still. Because it's not impossible for her to do seven damage. It's like Fireball Fire Blast, in addition to the Water Elemental, does the job just fine. But, oh well, we will sh see if the, that is correct. <laughs> what to do? I guess it doesn't have a Fireball, so it's not an instant. Frostbolt into Ice Lance would be another one, obviously. Cold Light Oracle, okay, he's digging for the uh, for the fireball. Digging for the fireball. Guess got the fireball. It's gonna go for it. Yep. 
Of course, of course. Of course. Well played. Okay, game four and another mage. Deadly shot, that would have been nice. Only scavenging eye in a best of wrath. Let's drop those two. Let's keep these two just in case it happens to be another aggro deck. Which I wouldn't be too surprised about. This, at least this time I'm going second, so. Ralas getting King Muckle out on turn two. Hello. Which is kinda nice. But, um. <sighs> so far, three games, three aggro decks, three losses. I am not surprised with this particular deck I'm playing. This seems to be another one of the types. The problem is that now I can't again play Makla. Essentially, because these things will just get bananaed up. But I think I'm gonna play Makla anyway. Because I want some big nasty creature on board and even with that thing doing its stuff and what being buffed up and whatnot. Makla trades for it and the follow-up dude from it. So now if she spends two mana, you know, putting that up, I can just start hammering. Hammering away. Hmm. Frostbolt. Oh yes. Frostbolt. Okay. Okay, that was you used one banana on it. So, Makla ate a Frostbolt and the Nerubian egg with a banana. That's kinda nice and nifty. I'm okay with that combo. Composition, rather. It's not going to be an unleashed turn, actually. But uh, this combo does not work against the maze because of this stupidly overpowered hero part. <sighs> oh well. There's not much can do here. Not much can do. Azure Drake, alright. Well, 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 what do you know? Let's draw some cards then. Second Young Dragonhawk and a second Best of Wrath. Now we'll get rid of the move. At least get rid of something. It's a Fire Blast burned. Chill when the other one. Oh my gosh. That is so very, very annoying. Let's get the rid of that thing. Um, <laughs> I could go. Well, oh, a boulder fish burger. Alright. Pretty much me lost the game here. Oh, well, I did it draw a home master. Do I have enough mana? Yeah, I have enough mana for these drops here. Right, uh, two creatures which survive flame strike, which is pretty nifty. But we'll see how that turns out. And there is the fire blast burned. And it probably kills the... Whoa, didn't kill the rhino. That is interesting. Most interesting. Hmm. Let's drop out the snake trap so we draw some extra... Extra minions on the board if there happens to be, uh, if he decides to whack on the tiger instead of just having a polymorph for it or a fireball. Both are very likely at this point in time, but we will see. Yep, polymorph. 
Oh my gosh. Right. At least these people are not well playing me, which is good. But I'm just... Running into matchups which I cannot deal with, especially with the draws I had. No animal companions, none of that. Hmm? Okay, last game for the day 19, and it is against the Shaman. And now I have to throw down three drops, and I cannot play Mokla against the Shaman, so that has to go. Because I mean, bananas on totems, bananas on the goddamn spirit wolves is undoable. So there is that issue with it. I just cannot deal with it, with it overly well. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Really? Another aggro deck? I have an iron beak all. Oh. Hmm. This is not good. This is this is just not my day at all. At all. Oh well. What do what do I get for playing a deck like this? What do I get? And now let's let's make her see that Animal Company gives me Hoffer. You shall not okay, a Huffer would be kind of nice because it would deal with that thing at least, so... I guess I'm okay with it being Huffer. No, it's a Misha. Yeah, that is kind of good. Kind of good. What are you coining off? No oh, Yeti? No, oh, no Mish Inventor. Alright. So oh, I'm gonna lose my... Misha here. Yep. And to lose the Misha here, that's fine and nifty. We play Jungle Panther. Jungle Panther. Next thing I'm kind of tempted to kill Command the uh, Dorf. Because I have to stabilize here. Yeah, they will kill command the dwarf. Uh, I could silence this and simply trade. Trade those away, then there would be just a, a zero 4 with no purpose on the board. That could probably be the saving, saving thing here for the deck. Provided there is not a much bigger form to follow it up, which is very likely than there is now a Salad Belcher or something silly. Which absolutely ruins that play and makes it even I worse. Okay, Defender Vargas. Alright. <sighs> Defender of Vargas even. Well, that helps. That helps a bit. Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental would do. Oh, a young priestess. That is interesting. Frostful Warlord. I might have to uh, roll for a deadly shot next turn. Problem is, I cannot. It's like because it's too freaking risky. And I just don't have. Just don't have the place here. Oh, yes. You. Okay, kind of curious shaman um, build because there is not a single totem. I like have not seen a single totem yet. It is funky, to say the least. Nerubinag. Hmm, interesting. Something to trigger that word. Loot hoarder. Very aggressive. Uh, very very aggressive. Shiny deck. Unleash the hounds, please. Oh my gosh. Guess not then, huh? Guess not then. Really don't give a damn about that one. That young priest is here.
let's put that out. Just so there is something for the chamois to attack into. It's going to be able to draw cards through it, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh my god! Was that the top deck? I think it was the top deck. It's like, seriously? Seriously? Stormwind Championship. Just screw you, huh? And a second young priestess. Right. Now that Unleash the Hounds would be like really nice. I don't think I'm getting it though. Maybe we can't get that lucky. Thunder Rhino. Okay. We'll have to do some clearing here. Do I wanna get rid of this thing? Yeah. That means you have these. So I have to give him a couple of cards, but at least I got the board entirely empty of all his things. She's kind of nice, but I needed the unleash like so very, very badly. Oh well, not much could do. <laughs> Illidan. Oh my god, Illidan. Mm. Play those in wrong order though. Yeah, and then I'm gonna lose all my one health creatures. Oh yeah! Screw your luck, man! Holy shite! Like so much. Young Dragonhawk. Yeah, like that helps, huh? There is no way I can not kill enough to stop him from being able to kill me. And now there is. Run that into that and then kill the other guy and then do that. But still, that's freaking 7 damage on the board. <sighs> Such a weird shaman dag. And I essentially okay, yeah, that's the game. Uh, such a weird shaman dag and I essentially lost because I didn't draw unleash. So yeah. 17 cards left. No unleash. Right. That was an interesting day to play. No, almost nothing but aggro decks. It's kinda funky, huh? Kind of proves the point also that if anyone of you happens to be watching this game, if you want to win ladder, go and freaking play aggro decks because who screw all the control, you can play ladder much better with an aggro deck these days with all the Naxxramas cards also added in. Thank you very much for watching, huh?